the Office of Evensong for Holy Tuesday, according to the 1549 Book of Common Prayer, with additions from the Serum Breviary, as compiled in the Prayer Book Office by Father Paul Hartzell, 1944. The Psalms appointed are 123, 124, and 125. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, make speed to save me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Ungodly Said Unto thee I lift up mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. Behold, even as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, even so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we are utterly despised. Our soul is filled with the scornful reproof of the wealthy and with the despitefulness of the proud. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. If the Lord himself had not been on our side, now may Israel say, if the Lord himself had not been on our side when men rose up against us, they had swallowed us up alive when they were so wrathfully displeased at us. Yea, the waters had drowned us, and the stream had gone over our soul. The deep waters of the proud had gone even over our soul. But praise it be the Lord, who hath not given us over for a prey unto their teeth. Our soul is escaped even as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken, and we are delivered. Our help standeth in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. They that put their trust in the Lord shall be even as the Mount Zion, which may not be removed, but standeth fast for ever. The hills stand about Jerusalem, even so standeth the Lord round about his people, from this time forth for evermore. For the scepter of the ungodly shall not abide upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put their hand unto wickedness. Do well, O Lord, unto those that are good and true of heart. As for such as turn back unto their own wickedness, the Lord shall lead them forth with the evil doers, but peace shall be upon Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The ungodly said, Let us oppress the righteous man, because he is clean contrary to our doings. Here beginneth the tenth verse of the second chapter of the Lamentations of the Prophet Jeremiah. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit upon the ground and keep silence. They have cast up dust upon their heads. They have girded themselves with sackcloth. The virgins of Jerusalem hang down their heads to the ground. Mine eyes do fail with tears. My bowels are troubled. My liver is poured upon the earth for the destruction of the daughter of my people, because the children and the sucklings swoon in the streets of the city. They say to their mothers, Where is corn and wine? When they swooned as the wounded in the streets of the city, when their soul was poured out into their mother's bosom. What thing shall I take to witness for thee? What thing shall I liken to thee, O daughter of Jerusalem? What shall I equal to thee, that I may comfort thee, O virgin daughter of Zion? For thy breach is great like the sea, who can heal thee? Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for, for thee, and against thee. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say, We have swallowed her up. Certainly this is the day that we looked for, we have found, we have seen it. The Lord hath done that which he had devised. He hath fulfilled his word that he had commanded in the days of old. He hath thrown down, and hath not pitied, and he hath caused thine enemy to rejoice over thee. He hath set up the horn of thine adversaries. Their heart cried unto the Lord, O whale of the daughter of Zion, let tears run down like a river day and night. Give thyself no rest. Let not the apple of thine eye cease. Arise, cry out in the night. In the beginning of the watches, pour out thine heart like water before the face of the Lord. 
Lift up thy hands toward him for the life of thy young children that faint for hunger in the top of every street. Here endeth the lesson. The royal banners forward go, the cross shines forth in mystic glow, for he as man who gave man breath now bows beneath the yoke of death. Where deep for us the spear was dyed, life's torrent rushing from his side, to wash us in that precious flood where mingled water flowed into blood. Fulfilled is all that David told in true prophetic song of old, how God the nation's king should be, for God is reigning from the tree. A tree of beauty, tree most fair, ordained those holy limbs to bear. Gone is the shame, each crimsoned bough proclaims the king of glory now. Blessed tree, whose chosen branches bore the wealth that did the world restore, the price of humankind to pay and spoil the spoiler of his prey. O cross, our one reliance hail, this holy passion tide avail, for good for righteous souls to win and save the sinner from his sin. To thee, eternal three in one, let homage meet by all be done, as by the cross thou dost restore, so rule and guide us evermore. Amen. And they gave me gall to eat, and when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. Daily was I. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. He that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble into me. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Daily was I with you in the temple teaching, and ye laid no hold on me. And behold, ye lead me away to scourge me, and to be crucified. Here beginneth the seventeenth verse of the fifteenth chapter of the Gospel of St. John. These things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin, but now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law, they hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. Here endeth the lesson. O King, Lord, now let us thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O King, all glorious amid thy saints, who art ever to be praised, yet dost overpass utterance. Thou, O Lord, art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name. Leave us not, O our God, that in the day of judgment it may please thee to place us among thy saints and elect, O King most blessed. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth 
trusted in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, for it is thou, O Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, may clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Let thy merciful kindness, O Lord, both cleanse us from all the corruption of our old nature, and enable us to walk in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who of thy tender love towards mankind hast sent thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh, and to suffer death upon the cross, that all mankind should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience, and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thine only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.